Bobby Webster here, and it's time for another Blu-ray and DVD collection update. Like I said, I'm going to try to do these more often so that they're not quite as long, because I'd rather do several 10-15 to 15 minute videos as opposed to a 30-40 or 40 minute video, just because I'm having a lot of trouble getting that long of a video uploaded. Not to mention, like I said before, people complain about the longer videos. I know some people like them, some people don't, but this is easier for me, so this is the way I'm going to do it. But anyways, before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine. I've been talking to him for several months now um, and really just been getting into his channel. And he's just an awesome person. And his name is Mike. And you guys might know him as Silent Mike. Um, I want to give a shout out in the beginning of every one of these DVD updates from now on because these videos get the most views out of all my videos. So I. I want to promote my friends here in these videos. So if you like what I do, you'll definitely like him. He's very professional. All of his videos look like amazing. I, I love I love everything that he has to say about movies. So yeah, check him out. Um, and he's also working on a new background for my YouTube channel. That's why it's blank right, right now. Actually, by the time this is uploaded, it might already be up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Any, anyways, guys, check him out for sure. I'll leave a link right here. I'm sure it's been there the whole time. But um, anyways, let's get started. The first thing I have here is an awesome Alfred Hitchcock film that was just released on Blu-ray. It's To Catch a Thief, starring Cary Grant and Grace Kelly. And this is a, I think this was in the 50s, 1955. And um, yeah, you guys might have seen that I sent a copy of this to my friend Ryan. Uh, I accidentally ordered two copies of this. And, um, well, I pre-ordered it and forgot that I pre-ordered it, and then I placed another order, so I got two. And I'd rather send it to him than return it, so and I know he likes Alfred Hitchcock quite a bit as well. But this movie is amazing. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect of it because I haven't heard anyone talk about it until my friend Ryan talked about it. Um, but it was actually really good. I thought it was right up there with some of his best films. Um, it's absolutely beautiful cinemato cinematography. Um, there's some car chase scenes where um, you can tell they're taking it from an overhead shot, and it's just beautiful landscape, and it looks great on Blu-ray. It looks absolutely perfect on Blu-ray. I love it, um, and the acting is great. It's about a movie, it, or it's a movie about a guy who used to be a cat burglar. He used to steal um, valuable jewelry from from very wealthy people, and he was ver he was arrested and sent to prison. And after he after he, when he was in prison, the Germ Germans bombed. And all the prisoners escaped, and he joined up with the French, um, like the French Resistance, I guess that's what you call it. And um, he was, because of his acts of valor during the war, he was given parole so that he didn't have to stay in prison. And um, in the future, um, a bunch of new um, robberies are taking place, and people start to suspect him because the way that they're they're happening is like exactly the way that he used to do it. So. He's, the movie is about him trying to catch the real thief, and it's very well acted. I love Grace Kelly. She's just beautiful. Um, I After watching this, I went and read a bunch of information about her because I didn't know a whole lot about her, and she, she led a pretty interesting life. Um, I definitely recommend that you look her up if you don't know anything about her. But anyways, yeah, check this one out, guys. It's only like maybe 13 or... It's like twelve ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine on Amazon, and it's a great value. Looks great on Blu-ray. The next thing I got here, I'm not even going to talk much about it because I don't want to give away anything. This this show has the most twists and turns and the most like amazing surprises of any show that I've ever watched. It's got some really shocking plot twists in it. Um, I never read the books, so I didn't have any background information. I just saw the cover, and I bought it blindly, and you can click right here to see my unboxing of this. It's The Game of Thrones, um, starring Sean Bean. Um, this is an HBO series. It's absolutely amazing. It's an epic show. Um, I'm not going to say much of anything about it. Just look at the cover. You can see he's one of those like medieval looking type guys with a sword. That made me want to watch it. And um, basically, I I'm not going to. I'm not even going to say anything about the plot. But I'm just going to give a warning because I wish that I was warned about this. But it's it's fine. It's it's whatever. I'm used to it. Um, it has a lot of um, nudity in it, um, so there's going to be a lot of times where if you don't like nudity like me, you'll want to skip past it. it. Has like an, I think there's like one or two episodes that don't have nudity in it out of the ten episodes. So, but the story is absolutely amazing. The acting is absolutely amazing. The special effects. I mean, it's like 
every episode is like an awesome movie. Um, I can't wait to see season two. But check it out if you're into that type of thing like I am. Next thing I have here is an awesome box set, Criterion box set. Yojimbo and Sanjuro, the um, Akira Kurosawa Samurai films. Um, these were remade um, in the 60s. Well, I think it was the 60s. Yeah, late 60s or mid 60s. Um, by Sergio Leone. Um, these were the first two movies in the Dollars trilogy for a few dollars more and for a fistful of dollars. Um, and these are just amazing films and they look brilliant on, on Blu-ray. Absolutely amazing. And I'll show you the individual movies right here. As you can see, they're just like any other Criterion um, Blu-ray release. The only thing is that um, my copy of Yojimbo has a crack in the case. This thing actually will lift up. And um, I'm not sure where to find replacement cases for these Criterion Blu-rays, so if anyone has any idea, um, let me know. I know where to get regular Blu-ray cases, I just don't know where to get the Criterion ones. But um, basically, if you know the two fit, um, Dollars movies, the first two films that I talked about, um, <clears throat> it's basically a very similar story, except for replace the cowboys and the gunslingers with samurai. Um, very cool stories. Um, let me see if I can talk about these a little bit. Um, the first one is Yojimbo. And um, it's about... <clears throat> basically about this guy who is... He's a, he's like a... They call him a ronin. And that means like a... Um, I'm just... I, know, I don't know anything about this. I'm just going by what I saw in the movie. But he's basically like a freelance samurai. He, he travels around um, from town to town doing whatever. I don't... I don't know, but anyways, there's these. He comes into this town that's basically split in half, and there's these two rival families that are basically fighting over control of the town, and um, there's a lot of deaths going, a lot of killings going on, and so basically both sides want the samurai to come and work for them because he's basically stronger than anyone else, and everybody wants him on his side. So instead of doing that because both sides are corrupt and neither side is the good side um he basically plays the two sides against each other and tries to help the town get back to the way it was so that's what that's about and that's like the same thing as the other movie i talked about with clint eastwood and then sanjuro um is about uh there's this clan of people um and there's like this really corrupt person that's turning everyone against the leader of the clan and um, these nine men and the samurai, which is the same the same samurai, he just calls himself a different name. Um, he they they are trying to um, they're they're trying to rescue the person that was that is being um, made out to be corrupt, even um, to try to get him back into his rightful place and to restore order to the clan. So very good films, absolutely amazing. They're of course in Japanese and there's American subtitles, but. Like, by the time you're done watching the movie, like, you won't even have realized that, like, you don't even think about the fact that you're reading subtitles. It's just so amazing. The acting is awesome. The direction is absolutely spectacular. Um, the next thing I've got here is a, another Alfred Hitchcock film. Um, this one's been recommended to me by quite a few people. It's Lifeboat. And there's the cover there. And this is based on the John Steinbeck book, which I haven't read. But the whole entire movie takes place on a lifeboat. After um, this ship is sunk by a German submarine, um, a bunch of people are on the lifeboat. Basically, it starts off with just one woman on the lifeboat, and she picks up some of the other survivors. And she picks up a sur survivor of the German U-boat, because the U-boat the was actually sunk too. So um, they're basically just trying to get back... They're trying to be to get back and find a ship or find land or something or I think where are they trying to get to I think it's like the the Caribbean or something like that I'm not sure but or the Bahamas I don't remember but um anyways yeah that's what the whole movie's about and it's it's crazy that the a movie that only takes place on this little lifeboat in the middle of the ocean can be just so good it's totally character driven um awesome film I definitely recommend it and the next one I have here is another Alfred Hitchcock film and this is the last of the Warner Brothers releases. I've shown you every other one that there was for this set um, of DVDs. And like I said, I love the cover art on all of these. I think they're much more interesting than any of the Universal releases or the Fox releases um, as well. They're just very simple 
um, compared to these Warner Brothers releases. But this is Stage Fright. Um, this is one of Alfred Hitchcock's um, European or English um, films, and it's about um, this um, this woman. Well, this man is murdered basically, and um, an actor. I think he's an actor. Anyways, he, this man is accused of murdering this woman, or, or a man is accused of wor wom murdering this famous actress's husband, I believe, and um, he's he didn't do it, obviously, and he's trying to prove, he's him and his other actors are trying to prove that he didn't do it. I, I'm really struggling telling you the plot without giving away certain things about, like, the guilty party, so I'm not going to say much more. It's just another classic Alfred Hitchcock film. Definitely recommend it. Um, the next one here, I remember... When I first heard of this movie, it was like 1998, and I had no idea who the director was back then, because I was still pretty young. I was 12 years old, 13 years old, and my friend saw it, and he loved it, and my, my parents would not want me watching this movie back then. It, it has some stuff, some a lot of violence in it, and they wouldn't want me watching it, but um, I really didn't want to watch it just because I thought it was going to be stupid, because they just showed me the cover of it, and I was like, no, nah, that's going to be stupid. I don't want to watch it. I'm so glad I watched it. It's one of the best movies ever. I It's one of my all-time favorite films. It's Pulp Fiction, the Quentin Tarantino masterpiece. This is my favorite Quentin Tarantino film. Um, starring Uma Thurman, John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, uh, Christopher Walken, and, and like a million other good actors. Just an absolutely amazing, epic film. Um, it's it's basically it's, it's a movie that doesn't take place in chronological order. It tells several stories about these characters, um, that all the, all the characters end up intera interacting with each other, um, through a certain circumstances, but they, there's just basically a bunch of separate stories that all work together, and it's absolutely amazing, I, I can't say any more than that about it, definitely, if you haven't seen this, you have to check it out, and it looks great on Blu-ray, I love it, I love this film, I love the music in it, I love the acting in it, I love everything about it, um, I just watched it the other night, and... This next one I have is an award winner. It um, won for Best Picture and Best Director. And I've always heard of it, and I just wanted to watch it because I had never seen it. It's The Eng English Patient. And I'm not sure exactly how to s pronounce the main actor's last name, but I'm going to attempt it. It's either Ralph Fiennes or Ralph Fiennes. And I, have, I kind of think it's Fiennes. You guys can let me know how to pronounce that. And it's got William Dafoe and um, some other actors, like a couple other good actresses in it that I'm not really too familiar with, but they did a great job in this. And it's about this guy. Um, he was a burn victim, um, and they just called they just call him the English patient because they didn't he didn't remember his name or anything. And this nurse is caring for him. It's during World War II, and um, basically the whole movie is him. He's telling stories about his life, and you're so you're having these flashbacks, seeing what happened that led to him being in the condition he's in because he's dying he, he has these burns all over his body and um it's an amazing like love story it's just it's a very epic film it's it's quite long and it's it's very like it's it's not one of those movies that you're going to be bored through it has a lot of stuff going on um definitely recommend this if you haven't seen it and then the next one here is another all-time favorite of mine it's probably in my top five or ten favorite comedies for sure um it's the blues brothers Starring John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. And this is the 100th Anniversary Universal Edition. It comes with the DVD um, and the Blu-ray the Blu and the digital copy. Um, and it opened, the slipcover opens up like this. And there's a timeline in there with some good pictures. And it shows some other uh, titles that are included in the 100 year anniversary. I'm personally really looking forward to E.T. coming out on Blu-ray. That's one of my all-time favorite films. Um, some, that's one of my favorite childhood films if not that I think I was that was probably my favorite film as a kid I was obsessed with that film um but the Blues Brothers I think you all know what it's about um these two guys that had a blues and rhythm band um they um John Belushi's character was in prison so when he gets out they're trying to get the the band back together to try to um save a a Catholic orphanage um and they are basically on a mission from God so they feel like it doesn't matter what happens, they're not they're not going to fail because this is a mission from God. So it's very funny and it has awesome music and dancing in it and I love it. And it has a lot of um, great um, musicians like um, Aretha Franklin and Ray Charles 
and I think James Brown is in it. Um, yeah, and Carrie Fisher plays a crazy girlfriend. There's there's just some crazy stuff in it, and this movie does have my all time favorite car chase in it. Um, just an absolutely hilarious car chase that I love. It's I will put it up against any car chase in any movie, and it will be my favorite. It doesn't matter if it's a comedy or a serious film. That's my favorite car chase. Um, but yeah, definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. It's a 1980 classic. Um, the next film I have here, as I believe it was made in 1969, um, and I'm sorry, I need to shave this crap off my face. Uh, I'm trying to grow a beard. Um, I want to be like um, the Lonesome Foghorn, but unfortunately I'm just not that sexy. Um, the, this is the Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the Blu-ray um, the Blu-ray book, and this is a, a thin book. I prefer prefer the um, the ones that are a little more have a little more content to them, but this one's okay. It has probably 20 pages to it. Some of the other ones that I like more are um, they have quite quite a bit more content. Some of them have like 70 something pages in them, and multiple discs. This is okay. I also don't really care too much for the glossy finish. I prefer the the matted finish, but it's all right. Th this is um, this looks pretty good on Blu-ray. And it's starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford, obviously. They play um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, and that's it's about their lives. Um, I'm not sure exactly how historically accurate it is, because I haven't done any research about these people, but um, a lot of the stuff that you've seen here happened in some of the other movies made about them. But this is the best one that I've seen made about those two um, people. So check that out. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. Basically, everything that I saw this month was very, very good. And um, I only have one more thing. It's another Blu-ray book, and it was just recently released. It's the Tuskegee Airmen, um, starring Lawrence Fishburne and Cuba Gooding Jr. and um, some other actors. I can't remember their names right now. Um, Mackay Pfeiffer, I think, is in it. I'm, I'm not sure if that's right. But anyways, it's about um, the 332nd Fighter Squadron, which was a... There's a movie that just came out that... Um, uh, why am I blanking on his name? George Lucas just um, just made called Red Tails, and it's about that's the same thing. Um, they were about these people that were they were college graduates, but they were all African American, and um, back then obviously they were not treated equally. Um, but they were they were thought that maybe people thought that maybe they were um, smart enough so they should be given a chance to become fighter pilots, and they, they were just as much as good as any other white pilot. Didn't, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. Um, I think we all, all realize that now. Um, there's still a few morons out there, but um, obviously I'm married to a black woman, so I don't have any problem with black people. I love black people. Yeah. But this movie's awesome, and this Digibook's awesome. has cool artwork on the back, and um, it's good that, that these... Um, people, they're heroes, and it's good that they're getting some recognition. Uh, I've seen, and I saw another movie that made reference to them. Um, there's a movie called Hearts of War, which is pretty good, too. And this, it's the same thing. Um, that movie's about a German um, prisoner of war camp. And um, there's a couple of red tails that were shot down, and the pilots were captured and put into this prison with the American soldiers. And they were totally, like, discriminated against by the um, white soldiers white soldiers that were in the same army fighting for the same thing. Um, it's just ridiculous the way they were treated. And it's, it's a sad chapter in um, American history, but um, it's a very proud chapter for the men that um, that did this, that um, fought for our country. And they actually had an impeccable record. It was very, it was a lot better than the, any of the other pilots in the United States um, armed, what did they call it back then? The Air Corps? I think it's called the Air Corps. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, guys, that's it. I know I rambled on a bit there. I felt that I needed to um, talk a little bit about that subject. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it, and hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, keep watching movies, guys. Thanks for watching.